this is really cool. A while back I did my Guinness braised oxtail and I did a little teaser about brisket. I'm going to show you how I do brisket on just a regular home grill. You can see there's nothing miraculous or special about this grill, but I can actually get a pretty sweet smoky flavor on it and make perfect Texas style brisket. So you take a piece of aluminum foil, you take uh, ideally mesquite wood chips, but any wood chips will do. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Throw yourself some wood chips right in the center there. Put a few extra just for good measure here. Okay, and if you leave it open like this, it'll catch flame, and then you won't have smoke, you'll have fire. So what you gotta do, I'm gonna sit this down for once, for a concept. Okay, okay, that looks pretty good. Um, so you wanna leave a little space open, not enough for very much, much oxygen to get in there, but you can see something like that, where you have a little space for the smoke to escape but not so much for it to catch fire. And then I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna set it directly on the grill, just like that. I'm gonna pack that down even more, just like that. Look at that, it's gonna be a little chimney. And then I put the, the grill rack back on top of it. Mmm, nice. Um, <laughs> you can see I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a real clean freak. <laughs> Right. Okay. So I'm going to turn that on. You start it off on high to get the smoke going. And I'm going to turn the whole grill on over here. I'm going to grill the brisket, get a little sear on it over on this side. And then, once the smoke is going over here from this nice hot flame that's going on now, I'll turn the flame down so it just, you know, spits out just a little slow stream of smoke. And then I'll pop that brisket on the top rack above it, and it'll just uh, hang out there. In fact, oh yeah. So I've got a little garlic powder. I've got a little oregano. I've got some cayenne pepper, and I've got me some salt. And normally I mix that all together, and I call it money spice with some paprika, which I'm out of. But I'm totally out of money spice, so I'm gonna just kind of. Free, free ball in here. Okay, so we salt that pretty heavily. And we're just gonna repeat the same thing on both sides. Uh, cayenne pepper, I like it pretty spicy. So I get a pretty good little, little layer there. If you guys have done some of my recipes, you know that I tend to err on the side of too spicy. I had definitely had a few complaints about the old uh, Salsa, garlic powder, just a real light layer. I know garlic powder in general is kind of ghetto, but you know when you're making like Texas style brisket foods like that, yeah, I mean you, you gotta make it taste right. And garlic powder helps with that. Just a little oregano, nothing special. This is totally dry rub by the way. I don't have any oil as a base layer like I usually do. Um, just as a Extra little tidbit, full full disclosure here. Okay, salt it pretty good again. Cayenne pepper, pretty heavy. Can you see that? Okay. But uh, with brisket, it's all about slow cooking. It's just like the ribs. If you saw the ribs video, we're doing the same thing basically, but with a piece of beef. You sear it on the grill. We're gonna get some smoke flavor on it on the grill. And then I'm gonna bring it into the home oven and cook it at uh, 300 degrees, just like I did the oxtail. Fully wrap it up in uh, some aluminum foil. I've actually, you guys have probably already watched the, the Gratin video, but the Gratin is in the oven or I would be using that, uh, that stoneware pan for baking this. That would be fantastic, but. We'll wrap it in aluminum foil when it's coming off the grill. 
Bless you! Woo! Cayenne pepper, baby. Okay. All right, we're back. Beautiful. You can see we got smoke coming off of there. You can, I could smell it as soon as I walked out the back door. Um, so yeah, we don't want that just pouring smoke. We're gonna go ahead and turn these left two burners down to low, so that we just keep that smoldering just like that. And over on this side, we're gonna start our brisket, and that'll still be pumping out some smoke by the time we're done getting a good sear on the brisket. I'm gonna grab this big slab here, and you gotta be careful with it because all this fat, it can definitely get burnt. It can trigger a lot of flame from down below and just incinerate the thing. So you gotta be a little careful, a little wary about that. I'm gonna shut the grill, get a nice sear. I'll show you our brisket once we have a nice beautiful sear on it and it's ready to go on top of the smoke. Hey, okay, all right. Uh, we're almost done here. You see the top, it's got a nice little sear. That'll taste really nice by the time it comes out and it's all done. Still got a little smoke coming out of here. It's just barely pouring out, but that's, that's fine. That's what we want. Just a little slow trickle so that we can just leave it sitting up here and forget about it for a little while. It takes maybe 30 minutes to get a good smoke flavor on it. About 15 to 20 minutes each side before putting it in the oven. And what I love about brisket, you see this huge slab of meat? I paid $12 for this slab of meat. It's about six pounds, $1.99 a pound. Brisket is like the cheapest cut of beef, and it is gotta be the most flavorful cut of beef. So, go figure. Uh, but it does take some cooking to get it nice and soft and edible, or else it's pretty rubbery. So, and that's what we're doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna shut this down. And uh, place this right over on the top rack, just like that. And I'll be rotating it around and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, you can see little little puffs of smoke still coming out of there. And we're gonna let it get smoky. Close this up. Let it do its thing. Who, baby? Are you ready for this? Oh yeah. Look at that smoke coming off of there. You can see hitting that meat. Beautiful. I turn it a couple times. I've rotated it sort of this way also. And it's about ready to come off. I'll give it a few more minutes, but I wanted to show you. Nice, beautiful. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. My my video camera is gonna smell like smoke, and you still you guys are still not gonna be able to smell it. Anyways, um, I did want to say about brisket, you don't have to just slice it and eat it. There's all different kinds of ways you can use something that has a smoky flavor like that. You can actually, uh, when it's done, you can cut it into cubes and use it in soup or chili. And it gives it that amazing mesquite smoke flavor. Uh, you can use it in creative ways. It doesn't just have to be something you slice and put on a sandwich with barbecue sauce. Um, you know, this is fantastic cheap meat that can be used for anything. Soups, stews, whatever you want. So, anyways, be back in a minute to show you uh, how we wrap it up before we throw it in the oven. Okay, here we go. We've got a big piece of aluminum foil. I want to sit it on that foil. I cooked it last time and it seemed like it just came out a little bit too dry. So I'm going to wrap it up pretty tightly in this aluminum foil which I'm going to need two hands to do, but you get the idea. Then we're going to throw it in the oven, 300 degrees, cook it low and slow for, gosh, five or six hours before it's nice and tender and ready for action. All right, here's the finished product. This is just the last glimpse. You can see it's, um, it's pretty tender. It just rips apart. Um, could have gone a little bit longer. And I went to bed before I actually had a chance to take it out of the aluminum foil here and I should have um, let it ride on high heat for a little bit to get a little bit more of a of a crust on the outside but all in all very good very tasty has a great smoke flavor still plenty tender so anyways that's it for this delicious brisket and we'll see you next time